The story of the Titanic is a tragic and captivating tale that began with the construction of one of the most luxurious and largest passenger ships of its time. Here is a detailed account of the Titanic's journey, stay with me and let's take a deep dive together. The construction of the RMS Titanic began on March 31, 1909, at the Harland and Wolfe shipyard in Belfast, Ireland. The ship was part of the White Star Line a British shipping company renowned for its emphasis on luxury and safety. The Titanic was designed to be a marvel of engineering, measuring about 882 feet in length, 92 feet in width, and 175 feet in height from keel to the top of its funnels. It boasted a total of nine decks and could accommodate over 2,400 passengers and crew. After three years of meticulous construction, the Titanic was ready to set sail. Its maiden voyage was scheduled for April 10, 1912, from Southampton, England, to New York City, USA. Passengers from all walks of life eagerly booked their tickets, some seeking a luxurious travel experience, while others, mostly immigrants, hoped for a better life in America. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic departed from Southampton with great fanfare. Crowds gathered to witness the grand ship's departure, which was captained by Edward Smith, a highly respected and experienced sailor known as the Millionaire's Captain due to his popularity among wealthy passengers. The Titanic made brief stops at Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, now Cobb, Ireland to embark and disembark additional passengers. Among the prominent figures aboard were Isidore and Ida Strauss, owners of the famous Macy's department store, and John Jacob Astor IV, one of the wealthiest men in the world. On the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic was cruising through the North Atlantic Ocean when disaster struck. At around 11.40 p.m., the ship's lookout spotted an iceberg directly ahead. Despite attempts to steer away and slow down, the iceberg scraped along the ship's starboard side, causing a series of devastating punctures along the hull. Upon realizing the severity of the damage, Captain Smith ordered distress calls to be sent out to nearby ships. The closest vessel was the RMS Carpathia, which was approximately 58 miles away. The Carpathia, captained by Arthur Rostron, immediately altered its course and began racing toward the Titanic's last known coordinates. As the Titanic started to take on water, it became evident that the ship could not be saved. The crew began launching lifeboats, but due to the inadequate number of lifeboats on board, there were not enough for all passengers and crew. Panic ensued, and the women and children first protocol was followed leading to heartbreaking separations as families were torn apart. As the water level inside the Titanic continued to rise, the ship's stern gradually lifted out of the water. At approximately 2.20 a.m. on April 15, 1912, the ship's hull broke apart under the immense strain, and the Titanic plunged into the icy depths of the Atlantic. Over 1,500 people lost their lives in one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. The Carpathia arrived at the scene around 4 o'clock a.m. and began rescuing survivors from the lifeboats. The crew and passengers of the Carpathia worked tirelessly to pull as many people out of the freezing water as possible. In total, they saved 705 individuals. News of the Titanic's sinking spread rapidly, shocking the world. The disaster prompted a series of investigations and inquiries to determine the causes and prevent similar incidents in the future. The focus shifted toward improving maritime safety regulations, including the provision of enough lifeboats for all passengers. The story of the Titanic remains a powerful reminder of the fragility of human ambition in the face of nature's forces. It has captured the imagination of people worldwide and continues to be studied, remembered, and honored as a symbol of both human tragedy and the indomitable spirit of survival.